today we are going to a new ultrasound. I'm 29 weeks right now, going on 30. And I just can't wait to see the baby. I think I saw him like maybe three times along the pregnancy in my dreams. So yeah, I'm just super curious to see how he looks right now because I'm just, I'm feeling a bit crowded right now. The belly's getting bigger and bigger and yeah, I just feel like uh, he's just a lot heavier right now and I'm just getting so much rounder. So yeah, we're going to be back here home talking about some clothes we got for baby Tisha. So today is ultrasound day. We are going to Regina Maria to have the 29 slash 30 weeks ultrasound. From now on, we're going to go and see the baby every three weeks. So that kind of gets me a bit excited because I'm just so happy whenever I get to see him. Just feeling like I'm getting super big right now. So I just can't wait to see if the baby got chubbier and if he has a bit of weight on and so on and if everything is good of course and after that we're just going to be back here in the zen garden by the way we redecorated the whole um back garden and i just can't wait to show you but that's going to be a special vlog so yeah until then let's just hop in the car and go to the clinic If there's something I hate, people shouting and crowded parking lots. I feel like this is so crowded and tiny. Okay, I think we're good. Just got my mask on. We are going to go at the triage process before going to the clinic. And after that, we're in to see the baby. Are you excited? I'm so excited all the time. Let me tell you. Why do people always assume that if you have a camera you're going to take pictures of them? Or just have to joke around? I don't know. Really interesting today. Just a hand and an ear. So everything looks good right now. The baby is good, 1.5 kilos. Amniotic fluid looks good, placenta looks good. So the only thing that has changed is the date, the due date. So maybe he's going to arrive earlier, 10 to 14th of September. So beginning of September. Yeah, because he's a bit ahead with the development.
so we are back in the garden uh, and I wanted to talk to you about the results of the glucose test, choosing my doctor and baby clothes. So let's just keep it short because we have to end this vlog one day or another. So my impression on the glucose test, it wasn't as hard as it was pictured in other YouTube videos or by other people, but it was again my experience, but I just wanted to give you a heads up and encourage you and tell you how I felt. So first of all, yes, you're going to feel dizzy because you didn't eat anything that morning. So you're just having glucose and water. That's all you can have. You know, it's just normal to feel dizzy. So just don't worry about it. Just understand that this is a unique experience to you as everything in this life is really. If you're talking to people and learning about their experiences and so on, just take them as stories not you know really realities because they're not they're not going to be your reality they're going to be their personal life stories now everything with the test went really really well the results came in super fast this is what i really love about regina maria the fact that they have this application where they have everything included from uh you know you can make appointments you can search doctors and so on you can find various information about the clinics and so on but what's the most important thing you have a blood test you're just going to have your results in one hour baby you don't have to wait and just go the next day to pick them up with your id card and so on you have them on your phone instantly as soon as they come out so I had them, like my first blood test, you have to do three blood tests with uh, this glucose test. I had them out in within an hour or so. So I just, I was in the hallway, keeping myself busy, just editing videos and working on some projects and so on. Nurses were just passing by here and so, and just, you know, asking me like, are you feeling okay? Everything is good because, because usually many pregnant women uh, do have problems with the test. They feel extreme dizziness, they get nausea, they get sick, so they need uh, special care. As it was the case with Joanna Grau, for example, she messaged me and she said like, oh my God, girl, are you going to be okay with the test? Are you feeling okay? You are editing us on Instagram because I was, you know, all over the place. I had to lay down in the grass. I was sick. They had to give me, I don't know what kind of a treatment and so on. And I was like, don't scare me. <laughs> this is good for me so far. I'm just feeling dizzy. That's all because I haven't eaten. And yeah, so that was my experience. Again, she had a different experience. So you can just put a finger on it and just say it's going to be that way. But it was definitely not as crazy as I expected it to be. The results, well, the results were good. I mean, my uh, glucose was a bit high when I actually arrived in the morning. I don't know why I had. I didn't have any dessert the night before. I didn't eat um, dinner late at night and so on. But I put it on the stress because I do. I woke up at nine. I had to get ready to put, do my makeup. We were also filming and shooting for this vlog. I had tons of things to do that day later on at the office. So I was thinking about the test, of course. Um, there are all kinds of emotions involved. So it's okay to be nervous when it comes to your baby and all kinds of tests and so on. So that's how I felt. The values overall, I had four circle values, but they were all okay. They're just super normal with the pregnancy. Um, things are just, you know, normal the way they are. I'm third trimester right now, which is um, seven months going to eight months. So yeah, two more months until we see baby Tisha. Can't wait for that to happen. When it comes to choosing my doctors, I've seen along the way and with the history, with my rhinoplasty doctor, with my, um, with Elena Martin, with um, my dermatologist, Ziad, every one of them have been super calm doctors. And I just feel like when you are around doctors, you just, you're going to get into dangerous situations, you know, because things are going to get cut, blood is going to get, you know, all over the place and stuff like that, so usually. And, they have they all have this special thing in common which is a calmness that i guess i seek and i found in Mihaela hasha she was recommended to me i think this is super important to have um you know recommendations from friends or people online or whatever and she was recommended to me first of all by theo she gave birth with her um her daughter Mia and she said she's super calm she's super good you should you know we, I think you're going to, to to love and to love her and just create a beautiful relationship a doctor patient relationship with her and uh, she was I mean she was your grandma's doctor I've seen brilliant recommendations over there 
So overall, I think this is the kind of quality I seek in a doctor. She's super calm, she's super positive. I think this is the kind of um, attitude, the kind of qualities I'm looking for in a doctor, of course, with experience and so on but this is so important to me and I just found her to be a fountain of positive energy and I just love being around her and she was so familiar from right from the beginning I just felt like our energies were aligned and everything was really really nice yeah so let's just jump into baby clothes and stuff we've got so far I have to say I shopped so little for baby Tisha I just I mean I guess I'm just going to buy things as it goes and I also received so many things so first of all uh, I just wanted to talk to you about how you know how baby clothes you know babies just they're going to grow out so fast and my main recommendation is to just you know talk to your fellow mamas um, that had babies you know baby boys in my case or baby girls maybe in your case and just be open to this kind of thing like receiving um, already worn baby baby clothes let's say and baby stuff one look at this one so I got here a bunch of clothes I got from Patricia um, she's a close friend of ours from Clue she has two boys amazing sense of fashion so I did expect this these kind of things and they're just exactly what I would get you see here H&M H&M again neutral colors this olive green now this one I think is an American brand isn't it name it so I, I don't I don't think I know the brand but anyhow look at this one it's so cute and so tiny I just thought that maybe this is going to be you know a joy let's say for you to see baby clothes look at this one I just love this one and the used look I just love it admired I mean yeah so we have so many things from her with these I'm not so sure I don't know. I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Do I like them? Am I going to dress him like this? But I always said, oh, they're so cute. I don't know. Maybe I'm just going to change my mind. Anyhow, we got these new stuff as a gift. Uh, Beep specifiers designed in Denmark. So easy to clean, lightweight material, 100% natural soft rubber and other kind of things, including a night version of them. Um, the colors, I mean, love, love the colors. This was a gift from Patricia and everything else I have in the box is actually already pre-owned stuff from her, from her kids. Now, when I grew up as a kid, I had a lot, trust me when I say a lot, well, look at this, I want to show this. A lot of clothes I got from, how cute is this? from my cousins and especially my cousin Georgiana she was bigger than me she was somehow my role model and everything she uh, came to Cluj for college she was this beautiful lady I was looking up to and she did, she was sending me clothes all the time and I just felt like I opened you know Narnia in front of me when I just oh, when I was opening a bag from her and I was like I didn't know what to expect but I was super excited to you know find all the stuff and so on and that's why I think maybe this is normal for me but I think it should be just you know common sense just a norm for everybody to just be used and mostly I mean when it comes to baby clothes especially because they grow up so fast it's just not worth investing in I mean look at these Everything is everyday basic wear, stuff you're going to dress him up for, you know, a few months until uh, the kid actually can, you know, move around, not just crawl or just, you know, shit and cry and eat. We have a bunch of clothes over here. Trust me, we opened everything with my mother. Oh, of course, a black one, a simple black one. This is definitely a must have. Everything was washed, beautifully packed. She was so cute and so nice, really. Really, thank you. Thank you, Patricia. That was so nice of you and we can't wait to wear them. That was my advice when it comes to things for your kids, let's say. Of course, you can invest in stuff. I also invested, for example, um, in a Burberry puffer for winter. It was like an overall, like overall with a hoodie and it is black, it just says Burberry um, right over here. And this is something he can wear for a longer period of time. And afterwards, of course, I can give it away to, you know, another baby boy. So that's a good investment. Something he's going to wear out like every, you know, most of the winter, I mean. 
and this one, so of course, you can just, you know, buy all kinds of um, cheap stuff that's going to, he's going to grow out of them really, really fast. So we have here a package from Adini. She's going to be here with a pop-up store at um, the Tiff pop-up store, I think. Uh, next week 8 12 of july i think we're going to be there and see what's going on so we have here baby's first book i haven't opened anything before i love the fact that it's black <laughs> i have to say this just love the colors so so beautiful and i'm just going to open it and see what it, the day i got my name oh my god baby baby boy baby tisha you don't have your name yet by the way, girls, if you want to see some name suggestions, I have a post on Instagram, over 300 comments with multiple names in them, ideas for baby boys, or if you want maybe ideas for, you know, some of them can even be unisex names. So just go there and just enjoy my post. I'm just going to put it in the description box. Baby's first book, love it. I love the way it looks. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so simple and nice. No elephants, no dinosaurs, no prints. Pre-birth diary, facts and milestones. Oh my God, I'm so late. I'm almost here now. I'm here, month seven. I do have to write a lot of things down. Pre-birth, special memories and notes. And then scan photos, scan photo comments. Scan photo, I mean. Top five girl names, top five boy names. Oh, that's so cute. You're going to see our choices. Just, I love this. This is such a beautiful gift for someone who's going to have a baby. And I love the simplicity of it. Thank you so much, Adinish. This is something I'm going to use. And we have a little something over here. Now, I don't know what's inside, but let's just check it out. So, of course, we're inviting you to a Danish pop-up store in Cluj. A universe, but this time offline, dedicated to interior design, fashion and scandy clothing, baby clothing. So it's going to be 8th, 11th of July from 10 o'clock to 10.30 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Mamas, let's meet there. And then, yeah, of course, so Casa Tif. Okay, Sada Universitati Chasse Cluj. Five days of pop-up store, that's so cool. So we have a toy over here. I guess it's one of the chewy ones, no? It's made out of wood, but again, I just, I like it. I don't know what it is for. Can we chew? Can we chew on it? I don't know so much about babies. Pacifiers. So we have two gray pacifiers from Mininor. Now I don't know again how it works with pacifiers. I know this one is Beebs, is a brand I knew before. And this one is new to me. Is it true that babies get used to just having like one pacifier and that's all and they won't accept anything else? And which are your thoughts on pacifiers? How do you get rid of them when you have to get rid of them, you know, later in life? I mean, when the baby is all grown up. So what we have here, oh my God, knitwear, which is perfect for the fall winter season I'm giving birth in. Oh my God, a cap. Now this is something I don't know if my baby is going to wear. Maybe like tiny little ones like this i can just tie it in the back <laughs> he's going to be so fancy yeah just simpler i think of course he's going to wear things like this because i think it's a must for babies but you know just have to have the head covered and everything in winter but i just don't like the idea of tying something under the chin it feels so childish so we have here little shoes or socks to go with and then the body is actually a nice shade of baby blue i said i wasn't i mean I, i'm not into blue not even baby blue not any kind of blue i just want neutrals but maybe we're going to wear them as well they are <laughs> extremely long 26 62 68 centimeters so the baby is supposed to fit in this at like what three months because he's born at like almost 50 and another one over here with the leaves on it and then we have the invitation of course i'm just going to put them all together baby tisha i want you to know mama has kept all your cards all the congratulations cards and everything that people wrote you so far so you can actually i can keep them in this box a beautiful box so i can keep them here just going to take this off so next i'm going to show you something pretty cool thank you so much adinish 
it's more than welcomed. I'm just going to put the baby clothes in here. So what I got, some of the things I got, because I don't have everything here. The force that awakens you. This one is Star Wars related. Here we go. This one is from Eda Shop, Adelina's Pestrizu online shop. I found some really cute printed things over there. Again, I think it's just so difficult when you're going into stores, you can't actually find black baby clothes. And I just love the classiness and I just love black, you know? And I want black baby clothes and I can't find them. So yeah, here we go. I go online and I find them. And this is one of them. And what else do we have here? Went into H&M, of course. Uh, two pairs of trousers, two beige ones. I don't even know if they're taken from girls, boys, whatever. I just saw them, I like them, and I got them. And we have, again, here, two bodies with snaps over here. And then I got this one. This, this one was from the girls' section and it got you triggered, some of you, on Insta stories and was like, baby Tisha, it's a girl, it's a girl. And other people were like, what? Boys can't wear animal print. It was the same when I first posted that black body for Electric Castle, which was actually the very first thing baby Tisha got. And that just made me cry. And I was like, people were like, no, it's a boy because it's black. I mean, what? Girls can't wear black. You wear black all the time, mama. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Anyhow, so here we have the animal print. Uh, this is going, obviously, this, I know it's big, and I don't care. I'm just going to style it like so. High pixel, you know, just like so. And it's just going to fit like an oversized hoodie with uh, maybe something like this underneath when he's going to be bigger, of course. And then I got a pair of shoes. I mean, look at them. So, so beautiful. Nice and cute. Converse All Stars, by Converse All Stars for our boy. Uh, these ones are from About You. You can still find them. This was the smallest size. I just understood that this is going to be like one year or when he starts walking. So anyhow, Maybe it's summer 2021. I don't know. Now I was just looking for some little Nikes, but I couldn't find any. So I just ended up with the All Stars. And then we have over here a t-shirt sent by our friends from Summerwell. I was like, I don't know, why did we wash it already? And I was like, yeah, that's why. Because I got foundation all, all over it. I don't know how I managed to do that when I'm boxing it. I was like, oh, it's all good. Summerwell. So here's... Uh, plain white t-shirt. I do have some of these t-shirts, simple t-shirts on the list, some of them branded. We selected some cool stuff from Lisa Villaroma. Our friends from Lisa Villaroma were nice enough to just send us um, a voucher so you can get some you know, baby stuff. I'm just going to show you what I got um, in a few days when the order is going to arrive. But this is everything I wanted to tell you regarding baby stuff and how it was with the glucose test and so on. So I guess I'm just going to see you pretty soon don't go away because we have so many things to post here on youtube um, both baby related home related fashion related i know you guys you guys you girls are waiting for a video on how i style my now short hair the sun is back i'm just going to go lounge over here and enjoy a few moments because you know when you're pregnant you work for like 20 minutes which is i film for 20 minutes right now and then you have to take a nap that's life. I'm sorry. Bye. Pixel, do you want to make an appearance on YouTube so we can be actual proper YouTubers? Oh, come here, you little. Where have you been? Where have you been, Batman? Batman. Ciao, come te pisica del universo. I love you. I love you, kitten. I present you, Pixel daughter of sushi now that i'm a proper youtuber showing off you know baby clothes and cats and stuff like that make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the bell so you can be notified every time a new video gets posted we are pretty active around here on youtube lately